In this example, I do have corridors in the design file, but I do have uh, terrains created as well. It's in the Project Explorer. You can see in this model, I have my active terrain is set to the original, which is this surface, this terrain here. It was imported from a DTM file. So I'm going to go through and create horizontal geometry. I'm just, I'm just going to place a line between two points. Okay, and then for that geometry, you notice that I, I don't have the option to create cross sections yet. But if I open the profile model, select the view. Okay, so I get the profile. This is my um, my surface profile. So I'm going to set this active, so I have an active vertical. Now in the in the this horizontal geometry, I can now create cross sections. Okay, and I'm just going to do a quick see you don't have the same options as before to select the surface because it's doing a dynamic slice of what's displayed in the model is what's going to display so I have uh, left and right offsets of 150 so I'm going to hit apply you'll notice that it will open up this cross-section model and here are my cross-sections so not only do I have the surface okay so this is the e-terrain this is my original surface uh, which is a terrain model but it also since it's a dynamic slice it also picks up uh, other things that are in the 2d model uh, so we have features this is from the corridor that I had created from before um, so this is how you can do a real quick profile um, things are you want to make sure that the terrain is created in the civil model and you, your alignment has to have a horizontal and vertical aspect when you can create your cross sections.